ADHD and power struggles. Guys, if I had a dollar for every time I got into a power struggle with my son, I would be a gazillionaire right now. I'm gonna tell you the most important things you need to know about power struggles, so stay tuned. I know that, dude. Hi guys, I'm Ryan Wexelblad, ADHD dude. I'm a licensed clinical social worker or a school social worker, certified ADHD professional, and I'm also a dad. The first thing I want you to understand about power struggles is that when your son is escalated, when he's upset, he can't really hear you and he can't learn. So a lot of times what I find is dads get into power struggles with their kids because they want to prove they're right. And think about this, okay? You have to ask yourself, you know, is my son really going to say right now when he's upset or he's yelling at me, you know what, dad, you're right. I should listen to you from now on. It's not going to happen. So remember this, your son can't learn when you're in a power struggle with him. He can't hear you when you're in a power struggle. So wait until things are calm if you want to explain things to him, okay, do it without lecturing. So whatever message you want to convey to your son, whatever you want to teach him, you know, do it, but do it with 80% less words than you normally would. Power struggles are your son's tractor beam to you. That kind of tractor beam. I hope I don't get flagged by YouTube for using that. Anyway, here's the deal, guys. When your son gets into a power struggle with you, part of the reason he's doing that is because he's drawing you in. All right, he's drawing you in because you're at a certain level of intensity. He has your undivided attention. More importantly though, he sees he has an emotional reaction from you and that shows him that you care. So when he can kind of pull you in and even if it's a negative reaction that he's getting, remember for a lot of kids with ADHD, they're happy to take negative attention if they can't get positive attention and they're happy to take negative attention if it's coming from their dads in particular. So remember the underlying reason for this that when your son pulls you in to that, okay, he's doing it because he wants something from you, he needs something from you. It's not just to be a jerk or because he's trying to give you a hard time. Does your son have difficulty being flexible? Does he have difficulty with perspective taking? So understanding other people's thoughts and understanding how he comes across to others. Those are two attributes of ADHD that are really normal. So what I want you to understand is if your son has difficulty with being flexible, he's most likely gonna get into power struggles with you because his brain is not good at kind of figuring out when being flexible could be helpful to him. And he's not always figuring out that when being flexible is gonna help him get what he wants, all right? So you can't teach flexibility when kids are escalated. So trying to reason with him or trying to argue with him, which I call getting into the reasoning vortex or the argument vortex, are not gonna help him. As for perspective taking, what I want you to understand is if your son has difficulty making or keeping friends, he has difficulty with perspective taking. So when somebody with ADHD has difficulty with perspective taking, they're much more likely to get into arguments and power struggles because they have difficulty taking your perspective. Now, it's very possible that your son both has difficulty with being flexible and with perspective taking. And again, the message I want you to get here is that you can't reason with him, you're not gonna prove your point by arguing, and most importantly, he can't hear you when he's escalated. He's not gonna learn anything when he's in that state and he's not going to learn anything when you're in that state so you both need to calm down you need to take some space and talk about things at a time that you're both calm here's the most helpful thing you can do to help end power struggle besides the things i mentioned before don't give your son attention when he starts a power struggle with you because the more attention you give that you're reinforcing to him when you exhibit this behavior when you act negatively you're going to get attention from me and we want him to understand the message that that's not the way to get attention so let me give you an example if you say to your son take out the trash and he says i'm not taking out the trash or you know i took it out last time just say okay all right and just leave it there don't get into a power struggle with him Part of what we wanna do here is kind of fake him out, all right? Because he's anticipating that response from you. If he doesn't get that intense response from you, he's gonna be a little confused. And he might say to himself, you know what, that didn't work, right? I was ready to get into an argument with my dad because you know I want his attention, I want that level of intensity, and I'm not getting it. Another really important aspect of not getting into power struggles is giving your son the opportunity to do a restart. Here's how I explain restarts to kids. I say, if your phone isn't working right, you know, you shut it off and you turn it back on. Same thing with your computer. When we restart something, it's giving it another chance to kind of work things correctly. So if you're screaming at your parents or your brother or sister, you need to do a restart. And what that might mean is you have to go into another room until your brain calms down. And then when you're ready, come back and ask again or talk in a different way when your brain is calm. So when your son starts to get into a power struggle with you or you see it's coming or restart an argument, say to him, you know, I think you need to do a restart right now. And if you wanna go into the other room and do a restart and come back when you're ready, that's fine. And if he says, I'm not going anywhere, then you say, all right, well, I'm leaving the room or I'm not gonna talk right now. And when you're ready to do a restart, you let me know. 
what that's doing is it's giving him the opportunity to kind of save face and to, you know, kind of get into a state of self-regulation again where he's, you know, calm and he can talk the way he's supposed to talk. So please always give him opportunities to do a restart. It's really important and it's going to help him feel less bad about his behavior, you know, when he does have blow-ups and those kind of things. Because hopefully, you know, the more you practice this with him, it's going to help avoid blow-ups because you're giving him that opportunity to do a restart. Power struggles at really bad times. So let's say your son is, you know, not kind of rushing in the morning. He's going to be late for school. He's going to make you late for work. Instead of blowing up and screaming, which, you know, I did a million times with my son when he was younger, and it was very much, by the way, about control for him, you know, what I would say is say to your son, you know, I know you're not rushing right now, and I know you're expecting me to get mad, but I'm not going to get mad. But I want you to understand this. When you asked me, you know, to take you to GameStop, you know, I took you. Point out different things that you've done for him and say, you know, so I've done those things for you. Right now, I'm asking you to help me out. So what we're actually doing here, it's not laying a guilt trip on him. We're teaching him reciprocity in relationships. One of the biggest problems I find with families of kids with ADHD is that they give and give and give and don't expect much in return. So we have to teach him reciprocity in relationships. We're all going to get into power struggles sometimes, okay? But I'm giving you these tips to help avoid power struggles and to disengage from them. And most importantly, what I want you to understand is the less power struggles you have with your son, the more he's gonna be able to hear you, the more he's gonna take in what you're saying and the better your relationship's gonna be. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you soon.